Hi, I'm Lizzie, this is Laura, and we are on day three of our five day MSC Virtuosa cruise in May 2023. Today, it is our only sea day on this cruise. So we hadn't really got much planned. We wanted quite a nice, relaxing, chilled out day. So we got up quite late and then just popped down to Master of the Seas for a drink, sat on the like the balcony level and just I suppose just watched the world go by for a bit. We were fully prepared for how busy it was going to be today. Yeah. So we we didn't want to make definite plans in case we couldn't, couldn't do, do them. them. Yeah. And after we'd finished our drinks, just enjoyed our people watching, we popped mm -hmm. down to the desk where you can book restaurants and shows etc yeah. because we wanted to book one of the carousel shows mm -hmm. we weren't organized enough to do it beforehand um she advised us that one was more adulty and one was more family orientated she kept on saying for children <laughs> um however we couldn't do the one that was more adult orientated because the only time they had available was 9 45 which is our dining time so we booked, I can't remember what the name of the show is, we booked no, it. No, I can't remember either. And then we thought we'd pop along to Ola to see if we could get lunch there. Uh, there was nobody in there, but they did have a sheet of bookings. And they said they couldn't squeeze us in today. So we popped back to the, the woman in the bookings desk and um, booked for lunch for tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We haven't got intention of doing too much in Ring of Skiddy, so we weren't too too sort of bothered about booking something in for that day so we went back she was very helpful again it's just a little bit annoying that you can't book like dining and things like that using the app it just make it so much easier so then we thought oh, okay we'll try the main dining room so yes. we popped down to the main dining room and she just looked at us and said sorry we're full it was about 25 past 12 wasn't it and the dining room said it was open 12 until 1 30. i think it says 12 to 1 30 on the program on the side, on the side outside, outside and then 12 mm -hmm. to 1 on like the information yeah she, but she basically was like no chance so we jumped in the lift and went up to the buffet which we did anticipate was going to be crazy which was kind of why we were trying to find somewhere else to go but it was all right it, it was, was busy yeah um but it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be yeah. so we went to the back of the buffet again mm -hmm. because it does tend to be a little bit quieter down the back although lots of people seem to have discovered that secret but we got a table we got yeah. drinks ordered we did and we got a selection of food again a bit of random selection as always in the buffet and it was absolutely fine so then we just went for a wander around i really wanted a lego ship so we popped into the shops by the lego ship um just had yeah. a little look in some of the other shops and it was a little bit quieter in the shops than it had been when we yeah. had a look around before so it was a bit a bit of a better experience because it was relatively sunny yeah most people were outside we did have a wander out to see what it was mm -hmm. like and it was busy outside yeah people we did see a few people jumping on some beds as we were walking past like getting new some beds there were there was availability and you could have probably got some further away but nothing around sort of the main pool area or anything like and that and there were definitely more on the one side of the ship which was the colder side yeah of the ship. and then after that we did something we've never done on a cruise ship before and we went to the spa so because we status matched um our loyalty with msc we are um gold in the voyagers club and one of the perks you get with that is an hour's free time in the thermal spa and we thought you know what why not use it take advantage on the sea day of going somewhere that's not going to be full of kids and then um, you know just just have a nice relaxing time and it was really good wasn't it, it was dead relaxed we popped into there we were a bit early because we wanted to check a few details before we went in and the um the receptionist was like oh just just go straight in and we were probably about half an hour early when yeah. she was um, in the city it was obvious they weren't timing yeah definitely not timed and there was plenty of towels you mm. could take and use as many as you liked in there and um yeah loads of different rooms and different types of sauna that you could try out massive jacuzzi in the center of it as well and then those those freezing cold showers so it was just a quite a relaxing hour that yeah. we spent in there we did spend an hour in there mm -hmm. um as i said we reckon you could spend longer if you'd have wanted yeah. to after that there was a dance school um that was putting a show on so we went to watch them um they, it was an enjoyable 45 minutes you yeah. could see they'd worked really hard at it and it was packed wasn't packed it? in the theater they probably could have actually put two shows yeah. on because some people came in and then had to leave um you could see there were some really talented dancers in there mm -hmm. and that they'd 
obviously perfected their routine. Yeah. 45 minutes worth of solid dancing. Everybody, they you could see that they enjoyed doing it as well. Yeah. And they were, it was obviously very well put together. Yeah, and it was just nice to, to have something a little bit different to do, wasn't it? So there's always all kinds of different activities going on around a ship on a sea day. But that was something we've never seen before on a cruise ship. So we popped in and really enjoyed it. We took ourselves up to Sky Lounge again, where, you know, it's adult only. So it's a little bit, so it's a little bit calmer there, but it does get really busy. But we were lucky, got ourselves a table and just sort of had a little chill in there for, for an hour or so before popping back to the room to get ready. Tonight is Elegant Night. Yes. So we came back and we got ourselves ready for Elegant Night mm -hmm. um, and then headed out to enjoy the evening. Um, so we went into the theatre and we got ourselves in there a little bit earlier, I think, than last time. Yeah. Um, got ourselves a nice little seat on the road, on the end of the road. <laughs> and it was comedian tonight. It was described as a vocal comedian. Yeah, but it, not like I thought he was probably going to sing like comedy songs, but he didn't. He just sang two songs, yeah. one at the beginning and one at the end of the show. Um, he was a little bit silly. Steve Terry was his name, if anyone's ever seen him before. It yeah, was just... it was just like dad jokes galore. Yeah. Like, just really, really silly. The child in front of us thought it was hilarious. He had the time of his life. And then that was making us laugh because that child was finding it so funny. Well, but he was quite funny at yeah. times. There were some jokes, obviously, that we'd heard before. But yeah. then some that we hadn't. So yeah. it was absolutely no complaints about it. Half hour mm -hmm. of having a bit of a laugh. Mm -hmm. And then after the um, theatre, we had a tiny little bit of time to kill before going into dinner. So we just popped into the casino. The casino bar, we'd seen people say is, is quiet to get served at. And we have experience yeah. that it is easy to get yourself served for a drink there. And we thought we'd do our obligatory £10 each on the slot machines. Um, and we lost that pretty quickly. Yeah, there was no success. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just sat in there for a little bit of time before it was time to pop down to dinner. It was a little bit busier outside there was today. A queue. Mm -hmm. There was a queue again to get in today. Yeah. And we did have to stand outside for about five or so minutes to, yeah. to get in, whereas the previous night we just we walked straight, straight in. in. So the menu tonight wasn't like a formal night, elegant night menu. Mm -hmm. It was Mediterranean night and yeah. the white staff were all wearing Mediterranean night aprons. Yeah, green aprons. Um, so I was quite excited about that. Yeah. We, we've always liked a bit of Mediterranean food. So for my starter, I had like Greek feta parcels. They weren't very big, but they mm. were tasty. Yeah, and I had calamari. It was a good, good amount. On my loads, plate. Yeah. yeah, and there was a bit of like tempura vegetables on mm. there too, which I actually quite enjoyed. And then I had lasagna for my main, a good old favourite, mm. and as good as I expected it to be on an MSC yeah. ship. And then I had um, a seafood paella, which was really tasty. One of our table mates had uh, a prawn with an eye on it, which uh, she was a bit a bit disappointed with, but so mine did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of our other table mates, who's vegetarian, ordered a dish which had hummus in it. And to say it was disappointing is an understatement. Yeah, it was literally just a bowl of dip with two little quarters of pizza bread. We'll pop a photo on here and the photo doesn't do it justice. It makes the pizza bread look bigger so than I'm, it was. If you're vegetarian but, and you're hungry, I don't recommend you yeah, have that. Don't choose that dish. The waiter also thought it was yeah. really funny. I mean, we did but, have a really good laugh and a joke about it. Mm, yeah. And then mm. we both had ice cream for yeah. our desserts. I had chocolate. And I had vanilla. vanilla. After dinner, we pop back up to Sky Lounge, which is becoming a bit of a habit mm. on this cruise. I mean, if you want to avoid children, that's where you're going to go. Yeah. And we went with the rest of our dinner table and to be honest, we just sat in there all night having, a, we had a really good laugh. It was a, a good night. Drink service was good in yeah. there. We were getting served relatively quickly and we stayed in there pretty much until we got thrown out again. And then because our table mate, who <laughs> only had hummus and a bit of pita bread for her dinner, was very, very hungry, we popped up to the buffet with them. Yeah. I didn't actually eat anything while I was up there because I was no. still full from my massive lasagna portion. I had a cookie and a bit of meringue, which oh, I'm really into these little meringues that they've got at the moment. But yeah, it was just a little light, light end to the night. So overall, we had quite a nice relaxing day. Mm -hmm. uh, the ship was busy and you just have to sort of be flexible and think, yeah. not setting your ways of where you're going to sit. And if yeah. you can find somewhere to sit then. We definitely, we found seats when we needed them and we kind of made sure we did things that would avoid the crowds a little bit so it worked for us we had a, we still enjoyed the day and I think probably wasn't as horrendously busy as we expected it to feel 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And please do pop any questions you've got down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You can also follow us on all social media. We're at Sisters on the Seas.